So things just keep getting worse for Diddy as now he is being sued by more than 100 new individuals. In fact, I believe the number is 120 with one of the allegations involving a nine-year-old. Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol. And um, yeah, while I normally cover nerdy news, and that does include news about music, uh, this is a really gross situation that I just think more people should be talking about because we are effectively looking at the next Epstein case, and we're looking at it right before an election when all sorts of chicanery and shenanigans can happen. And while it's all probably true, I mean, honestly, like, I don't think nobody is denying any of this is real. It also seems like it can come off as a distraction tactic. So I think it's just best to, to take a look at the news, see what's going on with it, and also just juxtapose that and correlate it to what we're seeing in other current events, specifically political events when it comes to, you know, the election and whatnot. So we're going to go through this article. Uh, before we do, hit that subscribe button. I'm a nerdy news channel. I call them nerd news every day. And Sean Diddy Combs faces more than 100 new assault allegations. More than 100 people are, are set to sue rapper, rap musician Sean Diddy Combs for sexual assault, rape, and sexual exploitation, a U.S. lawyer said. Texas-based lawyer Tony Busby said some of the alleged victims include minors who were abused when they were as young as 9 years old. So it's actually multiple minors. I, I, I was unaware of that. The, the prior article I'd read only mentioned one. But we're talking about multiple minors here. And this is... Again, people keep correlating this, understandably so, to Jeffrey Epstein. Like, like Diddy is, uh, let's be real, he's Black Epstein. That's, that's what he is. He's, he, he is Epstein with more swagger. And I had previously, the accusations of the minors were minors who were in the music industry. They were 15, 16, 17, which does make it okay. That's still wrong. Uh, but once you start getting those single-digit numbers in there... It takes a far more nefarious and, and, and creepy turn. This is an important matter that we intend to aggressively pursue, Mr. Busby told reporters. Erica Wolf, a lawyer representing Mr. Combs, said the rapper empathetically and categorically denies allegations saying they are false and defamatory. Well, look, I want to believe in innocent until proven guilty. I preach about innocent until proven guilty all the time. But when you have got story after story after story, like, okay, in the court of law, he is 100% innocent until proven guilty. That being said, look at the evidence. Homie's probably guilty. When Cat Williams is out there making statement after statement, when Dave Chappelle is saying he didn't take $50 million to go to a Diddy party, when these have been open secrets and rumors for 20 years in the music industry, uh... Yeah, you can call him false and defamatory all you want. There's no coming back from this. Speaking of the news conference on Tuesday, Mr. Busby and his team said, We will leave no stone unturned to find potentially liable parties in the alleged abuse or any individual or entity who participated in or benefited from this egregious behavior. What sort of benefit do you get from having these sorts of acts with a nine-year-old? Like, like, what is the benefit there? Uh, I, again, is without sounding weird... I can see the benefit to a 15-year-old Justin Bieber, like, oh, homie's going to get a music career out of this, and I'm going to get my rocks off. It's disgusting, it's immoral, it is downright criminal and evil and demonic, but there is effectively a quid pro quo there in a, in a messed up sort of way. What nine-year-old is trying to break into the music industry and is hanging around with Diddy, and where are the parents at, by the way? Uh, Mr. Wolf said in a statement to BBC that Mr. Combs looks forward to proving his innocence and vindicating himself in court, where the truth will be established based on evidence, not speculation. Well, all the evidence points towards your guilt currently. The legal action is the latest against Mr. Combs. Mr. Combs has, uh, was arrested last month and is facing criminal charges of racketeering and sex trafficking. He is currently in federal custody after he was denied bail, which he is appealing. He has denied all allegations of criminal wrongdoing. And according to Mr. Busby, who is licensed to practice law in Texas and New York, the total number of alleged victims he's representing, yes, is 120, like I said. So 120 more people came out. Uh, I mentioned this the other day. The Cosby stuff, the Bill Cosby stuff, it took a while to convince me. I won't even lie. You see three women come out. Oh, they're after a doddering old man's money because he's one of the richest, most famous comedians of all time. That three goes to 37, and all of a sudden, things start looking a lot more like, okay, there might be something here. 37 people with the same story. Uh, look, could they have all gotten together and corroborated stories? That's entirely possible. 
But that's not the way Occam's razor works. So when you've already got this long history of everything we know about Diddy, and now 120 more accusers come out, look, 1,000 bottles of baby oil is going to go a lot further than just 120 people. So I'm sure there's actually more than just 120. Half of them being men, the other half being women, who hail from more than 25 states across the U.S. He added that 25 of the alleged victims he's representing were minors. So of the 120, 25 of them were minors. That is sickening. This marks the first time Mr. Combs has been accused of sexually abusing children. Well, no, it doesn't. Because he was accused, again, of Justin Bieber, who was a minor at the time. So while, again, you, if you want to say children as in, like, small, 9, 10 years old, okay, fair enough, yeah, that, but, I mean, how old was Bieber, 15, 16, that's still a child, the allegations span between 1991 to a recent, as recently as this year, with the incidents taking place in Los Angeles, New York, and Miami, Mr. Busby said he added most of the incidents occurred after 2015, so homie just decided to step his game up, he just went whole hog, uh, probably, you know, he's like, hey, Epstein's about to go down. Better get my last licks in. Um, most of the plaintiffs, he said, alleged they were date-raped after parties hosted by Mr. Combs and were held at well-known venues as well as private residences and hotels. Mr. Busby said the parties were either to mark uh, were, were either to mark an album release or were New Year's Eve parties and U.S. Independence Day parties. Others occurred at what he said were auditions. That's a pretty... Uh, anyone that watches The Hub is very familiar with what an audition means. There was never a job to begin with, sweetheart. Or homie, or he liked both. So many times, especially young people wanting to break into the industry, were coerced into this type of conduct, and the promise of being made a star for the promise of having Sean Combs listen to their tape. Bro, how embarrassing would it be? How awful would it be? It's like, yo, okay, I know I gotta suck your dick to do it, but you're gonna listen to my tape, right? He's like, yeah. All right, and then you get down there and you start going fucking, you just start ball hogging the motherfucker. And then you finally, he's good on his word. He listens to your tape. And he still thinks it sucks. Yo, how crushing would that be? One man who was age nine at the time alleges he was sexually abused by Mr. Combs and his associate at a recording studio in New York while trying to land a record deal, according to his lawyer. Again, where the fuck is the parent? What what parent is allowing their nine-year-old to try and break into the music industry and hang out with adult men without their supervision? There, look, there needs to be criminal charges on the parent here, in my opinion. Had he, had he not been in power, I feel like could have been something great. I quit the industry because of what Sean Combs did to me, he said in a statement via his lawyer. You, you quit the industry? You were nine. You weren't in the industry to begin with. Like, like... First of all, if you're actually talented, try again. But, uh, well, I don't know. There's probably more ditties out there than just Diddy. I just, but you're not nine anymore, so maybe you're you're washed up. You're used. They want the abuse. I'm just saying you weren't in the industry. That's a really weird statement. Let's focus on the fact that you were a fucking nine year old, not you being in the industry and could have done something great. Like like that's like a, oh I I could have played professionally if not for my bum knee. Man, I sound like a victim blamer. Another man who was also a minor at the time. It's so weird that it's always boys. Allegedly, he was told by Mr. Combs he would be made a star, but he first needed to visit the rapper alone without his parents. How do these nine-year-olds keep getting away from their parents? Dude, when I was nine years old, like, okay, yeah, I was allowed to go out and like, ride my bike around town with my friends and whatnot, but we lived in a small community where everybody knew everybody. If you're in a position where you know Diddy... You're probably in, like, a, a very large uh, community, uh, you know, your city or whatnot. Parents, I, like, I'm about to become a leash advocate. Uh, once in a private area, his lawyer claimed Mr. Combs did request the boy perform oral sex on him. I was making a joke when I said that earlier, and now I feel filthy. Mr. Busby also raised the case of a then 15-year-old girl. Finally, a girl. I mean, not finally, in that I'm, it's, it's still bad it happened, but, like, I'm glad it doesn't just go one way. Alleges she was flown to New York for a party hosted by Mr. Combs and was subsequently raped by him and others. How do 15-year-old girls fly unaccompanied by their parents? How do they even get in a situation where they meet Diddy? There is so much to unpack here. Like, like again, I know, I know why and I know how. I don't want to acknowledge that I know why and how because that is an even darker, more messed up portion of humanity. Um... Uh, like, I, I truly do believe that uh, any minor that is implicated in this 
needs to have their parents investigated because what what, what, are the, what sort of parent would be like, I will let you fuck my 15-year-old daughter if she gets a record deal and we get $15 million or whatever it may be. The, the idea that there are individuals out there that have kids that are willing to go that route, and that is how a lot of this stuff happens, is so sick and depraved and it as bad as Diddy is and needs to be locked up for life, there needs to be an investigation into the parents here as well because this is absolute neglect and child abuse. Uh, I really don't want to go over the rest of this article. There, there, there's already a lot here that is just painful. But uh, yeah, again, it, it's very important to note that all this Diddy stuff is coming out while we are literally a month and a half away. Not even a month and a half. A month away from the biggest election in U.S. history. And if I, I've said on stream before, if I had to take a guess at it, I think Diddy's going to be dead in the next three weeks, roughly one week before the election, so that can dominate the news cycle, so that Google and Facebook and all these other systems cannot send out the reminder ads. They can, uh, you know, people will be preoccupied with the breaking biggest news of the new Epstein, Black Epstein P. Diddy, and uh, it's it's going to be a major shift to the election. I, I, I This all needs to be handled and squared away, and, and Diddy needs to go to prison for life, and I don't care if he's killed in prison. I just do care if they use this as some sort of manipulation tactic prior to the election, which is what it seems like we're seeing. But those are just my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Or let me know on X where you can find me at both the word. And please do subscribe. I'm a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Not always about situations like this, because frankly they're gross, but uh, anime, movies, music, Magic the Gathering, you name it. Check me out on Instagram at words of paradise underscore Leon. And become a member for $4.99 a month. You can join the Discord. Choose the articles I go over on a day-to-day -day basis. Choose the videos I react to on my Friday night live streams. And of course, get involved with over 80 other vital idols. We are a bright, beautiful, glowing, vibrant community that I cannot wait to grow even further because we do care about diversity, but only one kind of diversity, diversity of thought, and that's interesting to you. Join the Discord, hit subscribe, and until next time, it is all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.